have been here, Bain's Fake Tattles. So, 2003 Nissan Murano. I bought this and everything was okay until I found out that it only goes to 50 kilometers. And then it, it doesn't shake, but it's just, it doesn't go above over 60 kilometers and uh, i was gonna have a uh, transmission uh by tomorrow i uh, make an appointment for tomorrow but i think i'm gonna cancel it for now for time being because of course i can only do as much that's why i you know call somebody transmission people and i told them the situation and now i just found out when i look at the uh this one here the coolant when i open it when i open it and then what i did i pour some antifreeze and then after i pour out some antifreeze i start the car and then it was smoking it was a lot of smoke coming out from the radiator so as you can see here there are some a lot of radiator stuff here so there's no compression the coil the spark plug it will give you a code but there's nothing the air mass flow sensor it will give you a code i even removed this one the throttle body i removed that and there's nothing to it i the only thing I uh, didn't remove is the catalytic converter but why would I waste my time to remove it and there's no code which is P0420 so like I said I just found out this one and look at that it's how empty it is and then I just found also if your radiator is empty and the reservoir has coolant on it that means it should suck up the coolant on the in the reservoir but it, it didn't it did not that's why i decided i'm going to replace this one the radiator and maybe that will help okay and then i will give you an update so what i did i removed all this thing on top already and then it's raining today is then I'm gonna remove the battery I'm gonna remove the tray of the battery this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove this one here I'm gonna remove this two bolt that is holding the radiator I'm gonna remove all those two connectors that goes to the fan and I'm gonna remove this coolant connector here uh, I removed already the reservoir here and then I'm gonna drain downstairs right here I'm gonna drain and then remove this panel here the cover for the engine cover I will give you an update so to remove this one I just have to press this the little tab here and pull in there so. there you go no put this away right there so the one is done I don't know why it's leaking could be the radiator is cracked because when I bought it the guy said he hit this in the corner of a building see that one I already fixed it it's really big dent there so to remove this one just have to press this thing
Vale. Remove this. You can, anyone can comment, but I think one guy commented that I don't know anything. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, I didn't say I'm a mechanic. I just said that I want to save money for doing this. So I'm not a mechanic. I'm not certified. Every mechanic, they make mistakes too. So human being, you know. But this one, see, I got this one here. So that it will not leak then I just have to now I just have to do the bottom of the hose and I have to do this one I have to remove this first just wait. let's see make sure it don't hit me You know what, I have to remove the engine cover. Got it, there you go. <clears throat> so now, look at the green one here. I don't know. You can, I could not tell. So press this two here. And there. Place now this one here. Okay. Mm. I have to be careful because it's plastic. My crack. See? Yeah. As I uh, this thing here release those things with the flat screwdriver but I, like I said I have to be careful because it's plastic so now I'm gonna finish this tomorrow I still have to remove this transmission line there there on the bottom that's it and I'll see you tomorrow so before I have to drain and I need this Flat screwdriver. Thanks. Make sure I have my bell. Hopefully. There you go. Yeah, I have to drain it there before I remove the uh, the, the other hose. Now I have to remove this and remove this one here. There you go. Now 
is this transmission. Now I have to do the other one, but I have to wait up till this one is empty. So I removed the old one. Look, I will dirty this. Look, and then as you can see, there's a look like right here. Look like an see yellow is more of a coolant or something. Maybe hopefully this is the reason why there's no compressor compression on the. Even if I step on the gas, it doesn't go over 60 kilometers. And hopefully, like I said, I'm not a mechanic, but I'm gonna install the new one now. But I'll show you there. Cheers, you can see here. I don't even know. See, so that's where the or the projector here, then it's kind of yellow. So that's from the leaks. Leak, it will take time for me. To replace this one here too but i think hopefully it's still okay so here's my new radiator just wanna see they look the same So okay, I just have to dark right now, and it's I don't have the uh, coolant with me. I'm gonna fill it up tomorrow. I'll buy coolant. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna fill up the um, like I installed all the brand new radiator. So now. That was last night, so now I'm gonna fill up and then I also empty the reservoir. I use my my pump here. I have my pump and now I'm just gonna refill this and then refill the reservoir and I'm gonna start the I'm gonna start the car and get the heater on. Now let me start the car. So I put the heater fan high and I'm refilling this one. It seems to me it's not filling up. I don't see any bubbles but 
I'll wait. See uh, the temperature, it's just right there. So, look like okay. And a cold blast there. So, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Anyone can comment if I'm doing a wrong thing because I'm not a mechanic, I'm not a certified mechanic. So I'm doing a DIY. So what I will do, I will, in a few minutes, I will turn off the engine and check it out and fill it up again. So right now, it used to be from here, I put it here. And now it's sucking up. It's going to the radiator here. Now I'm gonna refill again. Look at that. Sucking up everything. I don't see any leaks. Sucking all of it from the reservoir. So what I'll do, I'm gonna start again and then refill. Once I uh, turn off the engine, it sucks up all the cola. Anyone can comment. I like I said I'm not a mechanic just doing the DIY job. No leaks. Nothing. Those are just skills that I did. So they are right now. Okay. I'll try to turn off the heater and then the engine. So now I turn off the engine. Okay. Like before I turn off the engine and it sucked up all the coolant from the reservoir so now I'm gonna see who's gonna do it again so far no maybe because it was still you know low on the coolant inside the radiator on the engine so it sucked up now it's, it's not it's stable right now hopefully I'm doing the uh, <laughs> the right thing so I would really appreciate if somebody uh, comment and give me some ideas next time I'll do this and I really I think for now it's good for the time being so thank you very much so this is changing the radiator for the 2003 to 2007 Nissan Murano